Hi guys, it's Dr. Anthony here. Just wanted to let you know that our dev team has been working really hard to get the new PR and anchor text analysis out to you before Christmas, and we're really happy to say that they've done it. So in this video, I'll recap why this analysis is so important and give you a step-by-step -step process for reverse engineering your competitors' link networks faster than ever before. Specifically, we'll be covering where to focus your efforts, understanding link networks, and your step-by-step -step SEO blueprint. At Noble Samurai, one of our favourite SEO fables is the lion story. For those of you who haven't heard it before, the story goes that there were two men travelling through the African jungle when they unexpectedly turned a corner and came face to face with a hungry lion. As the lion began to circle them, the first man sat down on a nearby rock, took off his hiking boots and started putting on a pair of sneakers which he had been carrying in his backpack. The second man looked puzzled and said, What are you doing? You'll never be able to outrun a lion. The first man replied, I don't need to outrun the lion, I just need to outrun you. The reason we are so fond of this story is that it provides a great SEO lesson on where to focus your efforts. In any niche market and for any particular keyword, you're really only competing against the 10 websites that are currently ranking on the front page of Google. For example, if you are currently ranked number 7, then you should be focusing all your efforts on outranking the 6 sites ahead of you. The bottom line is that if you can analyse the sites that rank higher than you and find out why they are currently beating you, then you can systematically make changes to your site and gradually improve your ranking. The best way to analyse your competition is to reverse engineer their link network and compare it with your own. Every page on the internet has a link network, which is made up of the pages that link or point to that page. These links can come from other pages on your own website, which are called internal links, and from other websites that link to you, which are called external links. Together, these links form a link network that is unique to each page. Now let's take a look at some of the factors that influence the impact of a link network on the authority and ranking of a particular web page. The first factor that influences the rank of a page is the number of incoming links. A good way to think of this is that each link is like a vote of confidence. If a lot of other websites are linking to and thereby voting for a page, it suggests that the page contains good quality content. A second factor that influences the rank of a particular page is the authority of the linking pages. For example, let's take a look at two pages on the internet which both have three incoming links. The first website is linked to by three relatively new bloggers who just enjoyed reading the page. These linking pages do not carry a lot of authority, and so the ranking impact of these links will be minimal. The second website on the other hand is linked to by CNN.com, USA.gov and NASA.gov. These linking pages clearly do carry a lot of authority. The fact that these high authority sites are linking to this page transfers authority to the page and has a big impact on its rank in the search engines. A third factor that influences the rank of a particular page is the anchor text of the incoming links. Google uses the text of the links that point to a page to gain a better indication of what a page is about. For example, let's take a look at these three external websites. If all three of these linking sites use the word dog training in their links, then there's a very good chance that the page they refer to is about dog training. One of the most powerful and effective strategies for improving your ranking in Google is to use Market Samurai to reverse engineer the link network of your competitors. Now that you understand that each page on the internet has a link network which contributes towards its ranking in the search engines, let's take a look at how you can use Market Samurai's improved X-ray vision feature 
to systematically improve your rankings in the search engines. Our SEO blueprint has five simple but powerful steps. Step 1. Explore your link network. To show you how this works, I'm going to take a look at a real-world example of a website called memorablescrapbooking.com, which belongs to the mum of Ben who works here at Noble Samurai. So here I am in Market Samurai's SEO competition module, and at the moment Ben's mum's website is number 9 for the keyword phrase that she is targeting. The first step in our SEO blueprint is to explore your own link network. To do this, all I have to do is come down and click this small arrow next to the website I want to investigate. This then reveals a range of more advanced options. The option I want to focus on in this video is the PR analysis button. Market Samurai now pulls back data from Majestic SEO that gives me an instant snapshot of the link network of the website I'm interested in. For the first step in our blueprint, all you need to do is come up and take note of your link network summary up here in the top left hand corner. For the memorable scrapbooking homepage, you can see that its link network is made up of a total of 911 backlinks. These include 894 PR0 links, 13 PR1 links, 3 PR2 links, and 1 PR3 link. So once you've explored the link network of your site, you will have completed the first step of the SEO blueprint. Step 2. Explore the link network of your competitors. The second step in our 5-step blueprint is to explore the link networks of your competitors. For example, let's take a look at the site that is ranked number 8. Once again, all I have to do is click this arrow and then select the PR analysis option. So this link network summary shows that the page that is ranked number 8 has 969 backlinks in total, with 865 PR0 links, 81 PR1 links, 15 PR2 links, and 8 PR3 links. You can repeat this analysis on the other sites that currently outrank you, and when viewed collectively, your results will give you an insight into the kind of link network that you'll need to create to compete in this niche. For this example, we'll keep things simple and just focus on this single competitor. So now that we've reverse engineered their link network, we can move to the next step of the process, which is to set a definite goal. Step 3. Set your link network goal. The next step in your SEO blueprint is to set yourself a realistic and achievable goal for building your link network. For our scrapbooking example, let's compare our current link network with the link network of our competitor. This comparison suggests that if we can get 8 PR3 links, 13 PR2 links, and 69 PR1 links, then we may be able to create a stronger link network than our competitor and move up one spot in the rankings. Now it's very important to realise that this isn't an exact science. There are many other factors that influence your ranking, such as the keywords in your domain name and the number of pages on your site that are in Google's index. However, what this approach does give you is a clear and definite goal to work towards. And this allows you to move on to the fourth step of the blueprint, which is to find backlinking opportunities. Step 4. Finding backlinking opportunities. Now that you have a definite goal to work towards, you can begin to look for opportunities to obtain high page rank backlinks. And where is the best place to look for high PR backlinking opportunities? Well, one of the best places to start is by finding out exactly where your competitors got their high PR backlinks from. Let's take a look at how this might work for our scrapbooking example. Here is the link network snapshot of the site currently in 8th spot. Over here, I can see that our competitor obtained a PR3 link from a number of sites hosted at blogspot.com, 
which suggests that they are personal blogs. So let's click on one of these links to investigate. Here, I can see a blog of someone who has linked to a scrapbooking site in the past. When I go to the About Me section of the site, I can see that the site owner mentions guest posts. This suggests that it might be worth contacting the site owner and offering to write a guest post about scrapbooking. If she is interested, then we can provide her with a great article and in return receive a PR3 link back to our scrapbooking site. So the first item to go on our SEO to-do list is offer to do a guest post at beckywillaby.blogspot.com What we've done here is quite simple, but very powerful. We've reverse engineered our competitors' link network, identified where they obtained their PR3 link from, and discovered that we may be able to get a similar link by offering to write a guest blog post. OK, let's take a look at another example. Here is the link network snapshot of the site currently ranked number 7 for the keyword we're targeting. Over here, I can see that this site obtained a PR4 link from the DMOZ directory. Since our site is also relevant for this directory, there's nothing to stop us from submitting our site for consideration. And if it's accepted into the directory, we should be able to get a PR4 backlink to our site as well. So the next item for our SEO to-do list is Submit site to the DMOZ directory under the category of Arts, Crafts and Scrapbooking. Now going back to my competitor's link network, I can also see that they obtained a PR4 backlink from a Squidoo lens. This might give me the idea to create my own Squidoo lens. So the next item for our SEO to-do list might be Create Squidoo Lens about scrapbook layouts and link back to main site. The most important thing to notice here is not the actual items on our SEO to-do list as they will be different for every website. What is important is the process that we've followed. By reverse engineering the link network of our competitors, we've been able to identify a number of opportunities for obtaining high PR backlinks to our own website. When you follow this process for your own website, the most common opportunities you will find will be opportunities for guest blogging, directories that you should be listed in, web 2.0 properties that you may not have thought of before, and blogs and forums that you can contribute to. Once you have your SEO to-do list, you'll be ready for the fifth step of the SEO blueprint, which is to take action. Step 5. Take action. Once you've reverse engineered your competitors' link networks and identified your own opportunities for link building, the most important thing you can do is to follow through and take action. Send those emails and offer to create good quality guest blog posts. Submit your site to the appropriate directories. Build your supporting Web 2.0 properties and get active in your marketplace by contributing to relevant blogs and forums. While it won't happen overnight, gradually you will obtain the backlinks you need to grow your link network, and as your link network gets stronger, your rankings in the search engine will improve. If you need additional firepower in your backlinking efforts, you can also investigate more advanced strategies, such as 1. Buying existing websites that have good PR and add in a link to your main site. 2. Syndicating high quality articles using a tool like Article Samurai. And 3. Outsourcing your link building to a professional SEO company such as Melbourne SEO Services. So let's just recap what we've covered. The big news is that our development team has completely rewritten the PR and backlink analysis functionality in Market Samurai and it is now more than 10 times faster than it used to be. In addition to the increased speed, the data is also much more reliable and robust. In fact, if you wanted to obtain this data for yourself from Majestic SEO, it would cost you at least $29 per month, 
but as a Market Samurai owner, you get access to this premium data for free. Rather than just letting you know that the PR and Anchortex functionality was back, we wanted to take this opportunity to highlight what really is the best kept secret in Market Samurai. In this video, we began with the lion story, which was a good reminder that you don't need to be an SEO expert, you just need to be a little bit better than your competition. Next, we discuss the concept of your link network and how it impacts your ranking in the search engines. The specific factors that we highlighted were the number of links to your site, the authority of those links, and the anchor text used in your links. We then outlined a five-step SEO blueprint that can help you systematically crush your competition. Step one was to explore your current link network. Step two was to explore the link network of your competitors. Step three was to compare your link network with your competitors and set yourself a specific link network goal. Step four was to analyze your competitors' link networks to identify opportunities for creating high PR backlinks to your own website. And step five was to take action and strengthen your link network in order to improve your ranking in the search engines. So from everyone here at Noble Samurai, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you a safe and happy Christmas, and we'll look forward to helping you with your internet business in 2012.